we already know who it's going to be. Because we know it's going to be Ash. Because it said that on the SNK Twitter. Uh, but yeah, let's just reload the page. So I'm just gonna Old Ash Crimson. Trailer 20. Let's take a look here. A little look see here. Okay. He all dripped out. Hell yeah. It's a pretty dope looking state. Holy shit. Alright. Okay. Oh, damn. It's meant to play. Oh, wait. He gets the... Okay. Whoa. What? Okay. Pretty dope. I personally like Ash quite a bit. Um, you know, let's take a closer look. Okay, so Ash is back. We knew that from the uh, Gamescom like trailer thing, the official trailer. Ash is returned, and he's looking slick. Uh, Kind of got, he's got a newer outfit going on here as well. Like it's more of like a leather kind of thing, with his pants kind of being more like denim. He's got the fingernails, very stylish. Got the classic 50s housewife hair. He's got the new, like, thing, like the new, like, fur thing on his neck. Uh, yeah, this, this stage. That he comes with this video. I don't know if this is the same voice actor he had in 13, and I don't know if, I don't know if that's the case. I, it probably is. He sounds very similar. Although he also sounds very different at the same time. I think that's, that's probably a new voice actor. But, uh, yeah. Just like, I don't know, just because he's like undead, technically. That's why there's this blue deer. Got his green flames. Just a standing. It's light in the air, brown, heavy down. The CD. It looks like you can combo. You can combo things into CD, kind of. In this, with Ash from what it showed in the trailer, which is kind of. What was that? Let me see that again. He straight disappears. Is that like a new move or is it like that one like attack where he charges at you? But does it this one just make him go invisible? That one is interesting right there. That's that's was that one was in thirteen. I think it was in new two thirteen that came out. Green five. Keo was still flaming green when he got hit by that. Green bow is pretty sure. This pretty dope looking green like flaming ball of green fire. So, what is this one? Is this the one where he does the kicks? Yeah, okay. You know, I think they did a good job with that. And then the extra kick at the end, that's, that's pretty dope. I think they did a good job with bringing it back here. Like, translating his stuff from 2D to 3D. So this, this is back. 
which has me interested because this would kind of give him a, a temporary like boost to his like actual like an actual boost in damage to some of his attacks and stuff and would also lead into like a very special super you can do but if I'm if I believe so it also in 13 would also increase the damage of your Neomax kind of like if I remember this right, because I know Shen had something similar where he could, uh, you press like a series of buttons for both Ath and Shen, and it would do this like, kind of like an install thing, but it would also pop people up, and it would give them like a temporary boost in power. Shen's made him glow orange, this one makes Ash glow green, and it was in 13. I'll have to uh, look forward to some, some of the... I'll have to show you guys what I'm talking about on screen here, but... I believe it gives you a temporary boost in damage. As well as uh, doing a very special super, which I, I, I bet this is it's going to show up in this game. I say that just because they brought this back, which is a mechanic I didn't think they were going to bring back for Ash, which is, you know... This thing that makes him glow green, which makes me excited. Because if we get Shen in this game, one, I'll be very happy. Two, Maximilian will be very happy. Three, uh, he can he probably will have the same type of thing that Ash has here. But yeah. Anyway, moving on. Uh, yeah, he didn't do anything. His projectiles look sick, by the way. Like, they're not, they're nothing special, but they look cool because they really did well translating his, his, like, green slashes in the 3D. Which, I can't say the same thing for how they mean Hulken. Hulken? Hulken. Hulken. I don't know. It's Ryo's fireball look. Because it just looks like a tiny fireball, and that's not how, that's not how Ryo's thing looks. It's like a slap of energy, usually. But here they did a good job translating it to 3D. And you have his normal three anti airs. I would say DPs, but it's not a DP motion because it's a charged character. I guess it's a flash kick technically. It works exactly like a flash kick, except it's way cooler looking. Back to Estevan, I don't know if it's way cooler. This pops you up. So what was that? So you have like a special new like dash thing going on? That looks new. I wonder if it's replacing his other like dash special move. Okay, and then he just uses Climax Super where he... So, hold on. Is that like a slower moving huge version with like spikes version of his normal projectile that leads into his like green tornado thing it's kind of similar to what Keo had Okay, KOF 15, right? right. Uh, Ash, though. Okay, so there's a few other things I want to talk about. Is his design? At first, I didn't really like it as much. I thought he looked kind of weird, but like now that I, now that I've kind of it's been like a week, I've seen people react to it and everything. It's kind of growing on me. I'm like, yeah, this fits Ash. Although he could kind of, he, he, he could chill a bit on the Botox. It still fits Ash. Also, his chin, he's kind of chiseled here. But, other than that, I don't, I don't mind it, what he, how he looks in this too much. Uh, but yeah, if you like the video, go ahead. Okay, so, hold on. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, like the video, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe and all that great stuff. And, uh, 
There won't be a shattering this weekend. Uh, Chris is taking a bit of a break, so uh, there won't be one this this Saturday. But uh, yeah, just thought I'd let you guys know that. But yeah, bye bye.